coning and doming. What is the difference? So coning is when we experience that outward pressure on the linea alba or that connective tissue that connects the two sides of our muscle bellies together. So coning may appear like a little bit more of a tent-like outwards on the abdominal belly during pregnancy or even in postpartum. Doming, on the other hand, is more like a bread loafy appearance, and that comes with kind of an imbalance of coordination and strength between the transverse abdominis and the rectus. So the rectus is going to kind of take over in that position, and you're going to see that bread loafy appearance versus the transverse abdominis kind of kicking in for the movement. So you might notice that as you build strength over time, that bread loafy appearance tends to disappear. I tend to notice the bread loafy doming appearance in more like leg lowers, um, little flutter kicks, movements where we're kind of extending the leg out and kind of dropping. So I'm gonna show you an example of what that bread loafing looks like. I don't have a coning example because I'm not pregnant and I can't reproduce it in myself, but this might help you visualize what that doming or bread loafy appearance looks like and how we can utilize strategies to kind of minimize that. Now we can do that by decreasing the complexity of the movement. So instead of a two leg lower, we go to a one leg lower. We can do that through breath. So sinking that breath to movement and that exhale from the pelvic floor on up and getting those transverse abs on before we initiate the leg lower. So here's just kind of a visual of what that might look like and how we can coordinate with some additional cues to kind of minimize that bread loafing appearance. And as you gain strength over time, hopefully the bread loafing will disappear and minimize as well. So I'm gonna kind of roll up on my belly. And what you're gonna see here is if I go to kind of like a leg lower situation, <laughs> leg lower exercise. I'm going to start with my legs up, thinking about going down. And you can see how there's almost this indentation through here and here where that bread loafing kind of appears. So I don't have any specific strategy. I'm just kind of lowering my legs to the ground and you can see that indentation or that bread loafy appearance. And I was doing two legs at a time there and I basically was just dropping my legs down ugh, and feeling that kind of bread loafy, this rectus kind of pops out. And I also might feel tension in my low back because I'm not really focusing on the breath or my position. So now I'm gonna kind of switch up my strategy. Inhale and exhale. Think about getting those deep abs on, feeling that tension in that spot between the hip bones. Obviously this is hard for me to hold the camera, breathe and talk at the same time. So one leg lowers. versus see how I kind of lose that tension when I'm not really doing anything and coordinating with the breath. So I'm able to get more tension and minimize that bread loafing appearance when I coordinate and use my pelvic floor, get the deep transverse abs, get those lower abs on, and then initiate the leg lower. So in terms of doming versus coning, that coning sensation is more of that outward appearance, the tenting through the midline and the linea alba. That's more of a pressure outwards. So we're not able to manage the pressure through the system or the difficulty of the movement. And also with coning, there is hard coning. So it actually is like hard to the touch versus soft coning, which tends to happen maybe in like a sideline or an inverted position. The hard coning is one we wanna be more cognizant of as it's kind of pressure outwards directly on the abdomen. And then looking at the doming or that bread loafy appearance, that is that over dominating rectus taking over instead of our deep transverse abs kicking in. So we can adjust with some strategies to get pelvic four exhale from the bottom up to kind of control that. We can decrease the complexity of the movement. We can add some external props like squeezing a ball, pressing the hand into the leg to get some tension and get those lower abs on. So hopefully that visual is helpful so you can get an idea that coning and doming are two different concepts and we can kind of make some tweaks and adjustments where we can manage pressure outwards on the midline 
through coning. And then also we can adjust and get those TAs on to help us with that bread loafing appearance. Let me know if you have any questions.